Here's example two of this topic, using a chemical equation to find moles of product from moles of reactant. Again, this is a, it's a little baby stoichiometry problem. It's not a full stoichiometric problem, but it is a stoichiometry problem. We're relating amounts of one substance, glucose, to another substance, oxygen. And, and this is in, in a chemical reaction. So, so what we need to start is the actual chemical equation. We need that as a starting point. So let's see if we can identify our reactants and products. This reaction is the reaction of photosynthesis. It says a chemical reaction in which liquid water and carbon dioxide gas form aqueous glucose and oxygen gas. There we are. So our products are aqueous glucose and oxygen gas, our reactants, liquid water and carbon dioxide gas. So let's build it. First reactant, uh, liquid water. I listed it there, H2O plus carbon dioxide gas. Now I have to know the chemical formula for those two substances because they don't give it to me. But they do give us the chemical formula for aqueous glucose. And that's aqueous. And they say we have oxygen gas and they let us know that oxygen is diatomic. There we go. All of the chemical formula for our reactants and products are correct. Diatomic, carbon dioxide, water, glucose. Okay, our next step is to balance this. It has to be balanced. We have the chemical equation, but it's no good to us if it isn't balanced to show that it follows the law of conservation. That's the only way we can do stoichiometry. So if I want to balance this, uh, let's give it a first check. Two hydrogens, 12 hydrogens. So already we know that this is off. So I'm going to balance it very quickly. Uh, that's going to be 6, this will be 6, and this will be 6, and that will be 1. 12 hydrogens, 12 hydrogens. 6 oxygens plus uh, 12 would be 18 oxygens. We have 6 plus 12, 18. We have 6 carbons, 6 carbons. So it's balanced. If you need more practice on balancing, Go back and find the topic on balancing chemical equations and get some practice on that in Alex. So we, now we have our balanced chemical equation. And uh, let's see what else is given to us. They say we have um, 0 0.095 moles of carbon dioxide. And they said calculate moles of oxygen produced. How many moles? So here, they're asking us to convert from this many moles of CO2 to how many moles of oxygen we will get. Okay, so this is stoichiometry. This is what stoichiometry is. Comparing quantities of substances involved in a chemical reaction. So here's how we interpret what we're doing. If I have this many moles of CO2, how many moles of O2 can I produce from this reaction? Assuming I have plenty of water. Okay, this many moles of this, how many moles of this will I make, assuming I have plenty of water? So, uh, let's say that we have excess water. There's plenty of it. It's not going to limit us. So, once I use all of this carbon dioxide as a reactant, the reaction will stop. So, I'll make a certain amount of this. When this is gone, the reaction stops. And we're going to figure out how much that is. So, let's begin. Our starting point is our given amount, 0 0.95 moles of CO2. How do we convert the stoichiometry from one substance to another? What's our conversion factor? The mole ratios from the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. Here's how I place the mole ratios as a conversion factor. If I'm converting from CO2 to O2, then I need to use these coefficients in my mole ratio. Six moles of CO2 are consumed to produce six moles of O2. This only works when I have moles 
of a substance. So if I had grams of CO2, I would first need to convert it to moles, and then I can place the mole ratio. Now, I convert away from moles of CO2, and now I have moles of O2. When I do the math, I end up with 0 0.095 moles of O2 is my answer, and that is already two decimal places.